while the fun begins. About to pull this exhaust manifold off. Uh, Got to paint it up, paint it black. After I sand off all the rust, gives me time to change the uh, exhaust gaskets there and the downpipe gasket down here. We got this little friend. It's a big fella. It's almost the size of my hand, if not bigger. Anyways, uh, the downpipe here uh, didn't have a gasket and it had like a three millimeter space in between it. So it was just, you know, exhaust leak crazy loud. So I'm gonna get that gasket replaced, those replaced, get this cleaned up, and hopefully we won't have a shitty exhaust leak anymore. I need to get you out of here, little guy. I don't wanna touch you, but can you go? Excuse me. Gently. Ah! There you go. Come on now. Get out of there. Well, that you can stay there, that's fine. Works for me. So I never pulled the manifold off this car, but I'm pretty sure the uh, bolts aren't supposed to be that loose. I usually have them fight me. And I break a couple bolts or studs in the process. But now this one's coming right off. That's probably why it sounded like shit, because it was leaking, because it wasn't tight. Our friend's still here. Now, since I no longer have a physical garage outside, uh, the new place has a third bedroom, and I just turned that into my makeshift garage. So if I need to work on anything, I can do that here in the AC. Got the workbench there. The, uh, the parts dresser here, cat box, you know. Set that down. I actually came in here for new uh, nuts for the exhaust manifold. But I got everything set up here. You know, all my wiring stuff, a uh, bunch of ECUs. And here we got all kind of random new old stock Volvo parts and just anything you could ever need. Bushings, cam seals, all kinds of stuff. Got to have an entire drawer dedicated to bulbs and bulb sockets. What else? Bunch of interior trim pieces and center caps. Fuel filter and some clutch alignment tools. It's my favorite drawer here. Got a bunch of Volvo manuals that I've collected over the years. It's pretty neat. And you got the Volvo service book. If there's ever something I can't figure out, I've got the booklet, the green books for it. I don't know how many there are in here, but there's a fuck ton of green books in there. So that's neat. Got some spare quad headlights in there, some trim pieces. It's my favorite drawer here. Turbo, starter, manifolds. All kinds of shit. Uh, but I forgot why I came in here. That, you know, yeah, we're still, we still want to do something with that. I don't know what we're going to do with it. But, uh, oh, that's why I came in here. Yeah. The bolts. So just got the exhaust painted up. Um, and the other side of the block, because I never painted that side of the block. So I just painted that up. Uh, I still got to get this light mounted up under the carport, but I'm still waiting on my, uh, exhaust flange gaskets. I only have the downpipe gasket right now, so I can't put the manifold on until tomorrow. Cause that's when the, uh, manifold gaskets get here. So let's go put this stuff on. So both parts stores that I went to, I went to O'Reilly first. That's my main place. But then I tried AutoZone. Neither of them had black header paint. I always paint my headers black. I don't like them silver. Uh, just gives it a little more contrast with the red block band down there. You can see the red more with the black header. But all they had was silver, white, and red. Now, silver makes the most sense. I don't know why you would paint your headers white or red. I've never seen that. I don't know if that's some new trend that's going out, but they didn't have a single can. They didn't even have a tag for a spot for black paint. 
but I don't like the way this looks because this is a different color. Um, and that doesn't really look right because that's supposed to be cast, um, cast iron, and that's usually black. So I'm probably going to go, I don't know where else I'm going to go because both those places didn't have them. So I'm probably going to just order some online because I found some online. Uh, paint it black because I really don't like the way this looks. But I got the side of the block painted down there. Looks good. I'm going to have to wire wheel the, this side of the head so I can clean up all the dark spots. Uh, you can see the red reflecting off the... Uh, black engine bay but yeah oh no scratch my engine bay that's all right got some touch up so yeah i don't like the way that looks so we'll repaint this black and uh probably get this sorted tomorrow i think we're done for the day still got to go sometime today and pull this distributor back out and try to swap this connector here um, onto that distributor down there. Never torn apart these distributors, so I don't know how that's going to work or how they come apart. So should be interesting. All right, so I pulled apart the old distributor, got the uh, old burnt up clip out, and I'm just soldering on the new clip onto the uh, hall sensor. To go in here we can put the distributor back together be good to go we got the manifold painted up we got it black instead of that ugly silver got our exhaust gaskets and an intake filter because <clears throat> this car never had an air box it just had a filter on it but that burned up in the fire uh, i have a whole intake box on in the trunk but it's missing the piece that connects the mass airflow to the box so I'd rather have that than this, but this is a uh, next day shipping and I don't know where to find that tubing. So I'm just gonna rock this for now. So we got the distributor in. Got the connector on. Now mind you, this is the distributor that was in the car when it caught on fire and we just replaced the connector on it. So we'll see how that works out. And we'll get all this cleaned up. We should have this thing running by today with new exhaust gaskets. Freshly painted block. Still got to clean up the side of this head. Let's get to it. See what I was saying about the the silver manifold. You can actually see the red coming through from the block a lot better now. Just contrast a little better. That silver just took up too much. Took up too much. What? What am I trying to say here? I don't even know what I'm trying to say. But it looked like shit. So let me finish tightening these down. Got to get the bottom down pipe bolts. And I lost my rotor for the distributor, so I got to go buy one of those unless I can scrounge one up. <laughs> well, we got it. Might need an idle air control valve because it doesn't like to idle that much.
motor. I just need to get the hoses for it. Let me set you down. Alright. Yeah, I just have them blocked off at the moment. You can see. Oh, it's not charging. Alright. Well, need to find me some hoses for this idle motor because it does not like to idle that much. And this mass airflow sensor is kind of finicky. Sometimes it'll work, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you gotta hit it to make it cut on. See the headers over there smoking because of the new paint. Looks like the overflow bottle is leaking out of the crack that I half-assedly repaired. But yeah, I'm impressed that this thing was savable from where it used to be. Uh, I guess I'll throw in a video here of the before and after. I think that's going to be it for this car for right now. I have the paint on the way. Bought three cans of the color match. We're going to do the door and the top side of here. Above this belt line here. The whole side all the way to the trunk. And then the entire hood. Fix that up. Got some 2K clear for it. Take this thing off. Oh, it's hot. There we go. That's how we keep the neighbors happy. Just put that on there. Because it's completely straight piped, no cat. But I'll push out this video for you guys. Hopefully it's a short one, not a 30 minute long video. But she runs. She redlines, almost. She runs great, other than an idle issue. That's all I got for right now.